and just in time to enjoy some time worshiping together, rejoicing together, talking together, laughing and crying, wherever the Lord takes us tonight. wonder how you're feeling. And uh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of requests that came in. It was really cool to see the first three names on the, not that it's significant, but it sort of is. Uh, there, was, there was Anna Hoover and a good friend from Pennsylvania and then Perry Yoder, a good friend, uh, and then also Eileen uh, Miller, right? Yeah. And, uh, but we met all three of those. Let me think here. I don't think we would have met any of them that we know of unless it would have been for the sing-along, right? We might have. As Perry stopped in here in um, Canyon yeah, City, and we wouldn't have known him otherwise, but they're good friends with Lauren Yoder, or maybe relatives, I don't know. Uh, Miller, I mean, Lauren Miller. And that was the one time, Perry, when they actually uh, wanted, or Lauren got me to play the harmonica during worship time. <laughs> So, uh, they haven't asked since then, so that might give me a clue. <laughs> anyway, and then Anna, she's the Anna and um, Dan, right? No, Jim. Jim. Jim, yeah, Jim and Jim and Anna. Well, I don't know where I came up with Dan all the time. But anyway, they're the ones, Jim's the one that made the uh, cool horn here that we blow, like to blow the train horn. And Eileen Miller, we met you in uh, Pennsylvania when we were in there singing and sharing. Had a great time just visiting with you. And uh, yeah, and the rest of you, hope to meet some more of you sometime. Here we are, man, you guys from Shetland, from the Philippines, awesome to see you there. Is it Cindy, I think, uh, from the uh, Philippines? God bless you as well. Thanks for coming in. Somebody had the big 60. I just missed it. This Saturday is turning the big 60. Who is that? Uh, we'll have to look that up on the on here. Be, it's right here, honey. Uh, it should be right here after Darlene. Oh, there you go. You got it? Anyway, we I might... Have it down. Oh, you have it down already? So, we're going to go on and do a couple more praise songs. Some of my favorite ones. That was, Oh God, You're My God. Here's another one that I like from way back. See if you can guess what it is. train goes through the gorge yes ma'am it is and we hear that whistle blowing almost every morning uh they actually run that train i think three to four times a day seasonally then they do a christmas special and uh we've not been on that but we the first one we moved out here we took the ride quite a few times i think anyway and it kind of sounds like this And sometimes, depending on the weather, it really rings through the whole valley here, right down below us where the track is at. So, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I was looking over some of the names, and we are so blessed, aren't we, to be a family of faith through Jesus Christ our Lord, to be able to sit down and worship together and, and chat and uh, meet each other. I, I was thinking about how significant it is that, um, that uh, let me think here, that... Uh, Oh, uh, Alvin Yoder, you come on regularly, and 
and K Yoder. K would be uh, Trevor's uh, birth mom, and we adopted Trevor at birth, and and K has been so supportive and and just uh, been quite a story. We got story after story that we could tell you about stuff like that, but we're not here just to talk because every once in a while somebody says you talk too much. <laughs> So we're going to start doing some singing. Where are we going, huh? Hey, the first two requests were requested by kiddos. Hey, the Tyler children. Tyler Weaver requested, I am resolved. Hey, Tyler, this is a good one for you to sing. Hey, look who's here to say hello. <laughs> There's little Fido. What you got to say there, Mr. Let me see. What's his name? Windsor. Windsor. Arr, arr. Windsor. Windsor. Arr, arr. <laughs> Want to help us sing, Chris? Hey, you might as well. Winter can help too. So, uh, Tyler, you asked for I Am Resolved. That's a good one for young people as well as us, as us older people. So, we were, it's written in B and G. Yeah, B flat. So, let's go to G and see what happens with us. I am resolved no longer to linger, charmed by the world's Jesus, the greatest and the highest. And you know what? He's always there with his arm saying, come on home, child. Come on to me. All right. Then we got a request from who else, honey? Okay. This is down the list a little bit. Um, Emily Bush's little girls requested just a closer walk. All right. Awesome. Emily Bush, her little daughter. Her little girls. Little girls. Oh, just a closer walk with the... You want an Elvis sound? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Let's do this in the key of G. That's what it's written in. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all.
Long credits. I think these guys, you got plans for tonight, there, don't yeah, you? I gotta go. No, okay. You got Bible study. Well, goodbye, Windsor. <laughs> uh, yeah. How can you? How, how, can you believe it? We went from a from a house from a uh, popcorn and costume <laughs> to a little Windsor, <laughs> and Trevor's showing him off, and Windsor has Chris. no idea. Or Chris is showing him off. I mean. <laughs> All right, where are we heading to next, hon? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Heather Green requested Jesus Paid It All. Oh, I tell you, this is another good song. I, I, I really enjoy this song. Um, I think about the fact that, you know, we owed a debt that we couldn't pay, the debt of sin. And Jesus didn't just pay part of it, but he paid all of it for, uh, for his glory to bring us into his fold, right? We're going to do this in the key of D, I think, yes. Um, thinking about that this morning one of the fellows talked about it seems like every these hymns that we sing if we sing the first and the last verse it always seems like the last verse has to do about heaven right or going home soon or something like that uh, but i was thinking about this morning brother um brother just austin no justin ringler yeah is it austin huh austin. austin oh man austin ringler he would he would shares out in our in our um, accountability time we get together every every Tuesday morning for what we call accountability. And, and this morning was the morning we broke up with, or we broke up, we got in, divided into groups of two each. We have accountability partners. And I so appreciate that. Um, it really helps uh, have some questions we go through with each other. But um, this morning he said, you know, he said, I, I, I'm getting older, so maybe that's why I'm saying, I'm not sure why I'm saying this, but I'm sure I'm looking forward more and more to be with Jesus in heaven. And I'm like, boy, you're right on, bro. <laughs> the older we get, the more we long for that. Because, you know, life is good. and and But there is a weariness. There is a ch facing challenges. There is brokenness around us. And someday to, to think about that all being perfected and to be uh, total perfection is just something that, uh, and especially sitting down with Jesus and worshiping him in person or right there in his presence will be amazing. Until then, though, we got lots of good songs to sing and talk and things to talk about and lifting the Lord up. Where are we going next, hon? Okay, Sarah Slayball requested Ancient Words. Ah, Sarah, another dear friend that we met on the Facebook sing-along here. Oops, that's right. I'm going to put the cape on. I'm going to let you do the melody, hon. Ruth's going to do the melody to this, and we're going to do it in the key of A. Go ahead. Let's start with chorus.
down to my octave. Come down to my octave. Holy word. There you go. thinking about that aren't we blessed to have the written word of God and then also to have the living word Jesus Christ um and you know I'll tell you that Jesus is eternal too so he also in, in some ways is ancient but we're thinking about these words that God spoke way back through the prophets and uh, now uh have been fulfilled and just wow what a blessing we have to know God's word uh Ruth says please pray for my husband and I, we're in our 80s and not in good health. Hey, Ruth, we want to join. Yeah, we'll put you in our prayer list at the back at, at, when we uh, wrap up here. But yeah, we'll remember to pray for you. You know, I found out that getting old can be a challenge, can it? We lose things that we took for granted, and life goes on. And, and sometimes I'm watching these young men, and I honestly, it's kind of been a little struggle the last couple of days. I watch how God's using them, I thought. Wow, why wasn't I able to be used like that when I was young? And there's a tinge of, I don't know if envy is the word. I hope not. I don't want to be envious. But I also bless them in that. Praise the Lord that so many of these young men got the training from you parents who were faithful and, and teaching the word, these ancient words. And young men, you grasp them and you pick them up and you're walking in faithfulness. That just blesses the socks off of me. <laughs> and I can thank God that I can be involved in, in ministry as well. Where are we going, hon? Yeah. Okay. Lori Worth requested Awesome God. Got to tell you, this is one song that comes up a good bit when we do our prison sing-alongs, right? <laughs> Kids yeah, or guys you grew up. have to look up the page, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys grew up with this song in vacation Bible school or when grandma took them to, to, to church or whatever. And it was really cool here a, a long time ago now. We sat down with a former white supremacist and a former uh, drug dealer. Uh, well, I mean, he was at the top of his chain, so to speak. And who else was it? And they all looked at each other and said, what? You, you, you knew awesome God when you were young? And so that was pretty cool, too. But may God's word continue to go out 
And God is awesome, isn't he? That's something to sing about. When he rolls up the sleeve, the angels put on the wrist. Our God is an awesome God. There's thunder in his footsteps and lightning in his fist. Our God is an awesome God. And the Lord wasn't joking when he kicked him out of Eden. It wasn't for no reason that he shed his blood. His return is very close, so you better. sound pretty ambitious there or you look pretty ambitious oh <laughs> uh, yeah yes Irene we forget the words <laughs> I at least I do just just in this song you think as many times as we sung it <laughs> uh yeah yeah we we try to we try to learn too many songs I guess hey. why why was the why was the guitarist uh um always down in the dumps the guitarist. I, I, I heard this guitar joke tonight. I thought it was kind of funny. My, kind of like a dad joke because he was fretting all the time. Get it? Frets on the guitar. <laughs> anyway, where are we going next, honey? Hey, Regina Glick requested the love of God. Hey, Regina. Favorite for everybody. What would we do without God's love? Amen. The love of God is greater far than tongue or pen can ever tell. happen we have uh, learned that it since it's fall and there's not near as much light in the room we're, uh, that my glasses have those reflections in and uh, so we dimmed our big screen to where where your comments come on so that that wouldn't happen and now it just all of a sudden went back to bright again the ornery booger i tell you technology is so funny 
But you know, we're talking about we're uh, talking about praying about getting old. One of the things that's been happening to me lately that I'd like to share with you—it's kind of personal in a way—is my arm here, right here, is really starting to hurt. Now it seems like it started more when I took that tumble in the in the uh, <laughs> in the park the, on a couple months ago. Uh, we were out in the park, and I was leaning back on my lawn chair and went back and hit myself on the elbow. It seemed like that kind of intensified it. But it reminded me of way long ago when Ruth and I got married. We went on our honeymoon and, and we and stopped in at Florida. She says T T M I, and uh, we stopped in at Florida. And I was playing games with some of the old men there, uh, Joe Byler and uh, who was it? Uh, was it just Joe? And and we're sitting there playing cards. I'm like, man, my arm's sore. And he looked at me and he laughed. He said. Your arm's sore, huh? And that's all he said. Well, then I recognized it because when, when Ruth and I sleep together, often I put my arm under her head. And that's what made it sore back then. I still sleep that way today a lot anyway. <laughs> and that's not TMI. We're married. <laughs> or maybe it is. Depends who you ask. <laughs> so forgive us if we gave to a TMI. God's love is amazing. And we continue to love to sing about it. All right, where are we going next, hey, honey? Pamela Harris requested the Unclouded Day. Pamela Harris, that name. <laughs> Unclouded Day, all right. Someday in heaven. Hey, this is written in the key of G, so I think we'll do it there. Oh, they tell me of a home far beyond the skies. Oh, they tell me of a home far away. Oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds. Tell me. 